In this video, I want to talk to you about media management in Aquia Lightning. I'm pretty excited about this. This is probably my favorite feature. In Drupal 8, media are now entities. There's an updated media library that makes it a lot easier to manage all of these things. Media is defined as images, documents, so Word, PDFs, etc. You can add feeds like Twitter and Instagram, as well as video from multiple video sources. So media has really been expanded. You can easily embed media from the library in any content using the CK editor. As well, you can add a media reference field to any entity. So a content type, a user, taxonomy, all of these things can now have media attached to them. So we're going to demo the following. I'm going to add a single media file. I'm going to add, actually add several just so you can see how they work. We're going to embed a media file from the library inline into the content item using CK Editor. We're going to add a media reference field to an entity. We're going to add media to that media reference field. And then, of course, I'm going to show you how to embed media in a custom layout like a custom block. So this is pretty exciting. Let's dive in. All right, let's start with a quick tour of the Media Manager. I'm going to click on Content and click on Media. And you'll notice I've already uploaded a few media items here. Let me just show you how that works. You can do a bulk upload or I'll just click Add Media. It gives you the choice of a document, which could be text, PDF, doc, or docx. So that gives you some pretty good uh, options there. Uploading a document is just as simple as choosing it. I've just chosen one called iPad Basics, so I'll give it that name. The URL alias, of course, Drupal will take care of for us, and you'll click Save. And now that media item has been added to our library with that icon and, of course, the actual PDF there. If I head back to my library, you'll note that it's been added here. I can edit or delete it. If I want to add, say, an image, it's just the same and just as easy. Choose the file, add the image. An Instagram or a tweet, these are actually quite simple. Let me just grab the tweet here. Here's the Acquia tweet about Drupal in Canada. Really simple. You can embed any tweet this way. It'll render it out and place it wherever you ask it to be. That includes in a content item or in a custom block. So now that we've got a few items here in our media manager, we've got a tweet, we've got a couple of PDFs. I've added a video in here. And once again, that's really simple to do. You simply just paste the video URL in here and Drupal takes care of rendering it out. This is from our Drupal 8 beginner class on YouTube. And then again, an image. So now that we've got a few things, let's go ahead and add them to our content. I'm going to click over here, click Add Content, and let's create a basic page about Stanley Cup and the Bluegills. The Bluegills is the hockey team I play for. I hope you don't mind. A friend of mine actually was in Pittsburgh when the cup was there and laid our hockey jersey right next to it. Of course, not allowed to touch the cup. Little comment there. I'll add the image. And it's as simple as finding the image in your library. Of course, you can upload or create an embed right from here. We'll just do this for now. Click Place. I'm going to just throw it in as a median image. This is pretty standard. It's a media image, the image style that you can choose. You can link it, do some alt text, of course. That's all pretty standard. And I'll just float it to the right and click Embed. And there's our image. I'm going to provide a menu link since this is obviously a page. And there you go. It's still in draft mode. Let's go ahead and publish it. And there we are. Stanley Cup and the Bluegills, hey, we're that good. So it's really simple to place an image in a content item or in a node. Let's do this one more time. This time I'm going to come over here, I'm going to click Add Content, and once again, a basic page. You'll notice that here in the CK Editor, I can access my library. I can, of course, upload new media, and I can even create an embed like a video. So. Once again, just going to grab this one that I've already created, place that as an embedded video. Won't worry about how it's aligned. Click Embed. Drupal 8 YouTube introduction shows up. Let's give it a title. We'll publish it right away. And we'll click Save. And so there's our new page. Let's add a media reference field to a content type. I'm going to click on Structure and Content Types. 
and I'm going to add one to the basic page. Click Manage Fields. This is unbelievably simple. I'm going to add a field, and you'll see now under Reference we have Media. We'll add that as a media field. Click Save and Continue. The type of item to reference, and of course this is standard stuff. Limit it to one. Save Field Settings. Add some help text here, and we'll see that this is how it's going to appear. We'll also allow all the bundles. You can, of course, not allow any bundle if you want. Click Save Settings. So now we have a media reference field in our basic page entity. Let's go ahead and head back over and add a basic page. And you'll notice now the body is still here, but I can now add a media item right here. So I'm going to add this PDF and place that. This is the iPad's basic iPad reference guide. This is our reference guide. I know I'm very creative with my text. We'll publish it right away. And click Save. So here we go. There's our reference guide. If I click on the media, it's going to take me to the actual media item within the node where I can then download it. So you've got a couple of options there. You can embed the media right in the node, or you can use a reference field. So the last thing I want to show you in this part of the demo is how to embed media in a custom layout. And this is actually pretty exciting. If you haven't watched the layout video yet, well, don't worry. I've got more information coming about that. Let's just add content. The landing page is a panelized layout, so we can create a different layout here. We'll change this display to a two-column layout, give it a title. We'll talk about Acquia going to Canada here. Acquia recently tweeted about Drupal in Canada. I'm from Canada, so this is really good. And we'll click Save. This is going to bring up our panelizer layout, and I'm going to be able to manage the content here. And of course, I've got a lot to choose from. I've got all of my content entity blocks. I can add a media item here. And to do that now, all I have to do is just type the first couple of letters. This was a tweet about Canada. You'll notice that pops up nicely. The view mode is embedded, and the region is on second. And I'll click Add. Gives us a nice quick little preview of that. Then I'm going to manage the content again. I'm going to add the body here on the left. And we'll put that in first. That puts it on the left-hand column. And there we go. I'm going to click Save. And let's publish that. And there we are. So that media entity is completely rendered over here on the right-hand side in our custom layout. So, Lightning from Acquia. Great advances in media management for Drupal 8.